So for these type of compounds, when we're writing the formula, we look for the prefix in the name, and that tells us the number of each type of element that we have. So for the first example, we have carbon monoxide. Mono being the prefix, meaning one. So you look at the periodic table, and you find carbon. You'll find that the symbol is C. As there's no prefix in front of carbon, you can assume that there is one of them. So then you find the symbol for oxygen, which is O, and again you've got one of them. You don't need to put in any numbers, as we've got only got one, and if you've written the symbol, then we assume that there must be one there. Looking at the next example, we have carbon dioxide. Di is our prefix, meaning two. So again, you find the symbols, C for carbon, O for oxygen. And this time you put a subscript 2 beside the oxygen to show that we have two of them. In our next example, working up through the prefixes, we have boron tribromide, tri for 3. Boron is B. And bromide is represented by BR. And this time it's a subscript 3 to show that you have three bromides. Our next example is carbon tetrachloride. Tetra is the prefix for four. So again, you have carbon and C. And this time we're looking at chlorine, which is Cl, and the subscript four to show that there are four chlorines in the example. The final example has two prefixes. We have dinitrogen, trioxide. So what this name tells us is that we have two nitrogens and three oxygens. So you have N2O3. You could be asked examples up to six, which is hexa. So an example of that would be something like uranium hexafluoride. Could be a possible one for you to try yourself.